Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to solve or how to fix network or main thread exception android.os. Uh, this exception in your Android Studio code. So let's begin. We will first create a simple uh, app where we'll reproduce this issue. We'll see how at, in which scenario this issue is appears, and then we'll try to fix it. Fix. And let me click on finish so that my environment loads up. It may take a while. So yeah, I'll pause the video and resume once the environment loads up completely. Yeah, so the environment is still loading up. Uh, so what we'll do is first we'll reproduce the issue. So for that, what we'll do is we'll do some simple <coughs> operations over the network. So what we'll do, let me show. So I have we'll try to fetch this image uh, file and show it in a bitmap uh, uh, convert it into a bitmap in my code and then show it in an image view that's the operation we'll do and see that that exception will be thrown and then how to fix it the fix what i'll be showing in this code will be a kind of workaround uh, not an ideal one but at least yeah quickly we can resolve that so my environment has come up what i'll do is first and foremost i'll start uh, this also emulator also in parallel on the right hand side will come up yeah before i proceed since I will be doing an operation over internet so let me give the permission for internet on the in the manifest file perfect now what I'll do is in the layout uh, file I will design my app very quickly so I think I just need uh, probably one button which will trigger my code and this could be probably I give some constraints and name this button as <coughs> load from URL. You can name it anything. Any any net operation or network should create that kind of issue. So I'm just trying to recreate that issue uh, so that we can see uh, the fix. And then I'll uh, put an image view. You can name it any background. It doesn't matter and this perfect okay and image uid is fine which we can fetch it, fetch it in our code yeah now i'll go to my main java code and over there what i'll do is i'll first create a public method public void method which will be my method for my button button internet uses you View. perfect okay let's alt enter so that let it come up and I'll go back to my layout and associate that method to this particular button in the on click attribute perfect okay right inside my unit is coming up I think I can minimize this for the time being uh, because yeah we want to focus on our code. So this method is associated with the uh, button in the layout. I'll also create a class variable private uh, image view image view and I'll associate it with the image view find you at the other i dot image the respective image view widget in my layout. Perfect. Now once we have it, what we'll do in the button internet, uh, this uh, button uh, on click attribute or method, we will try to load this uh, image. We'll try to access this image, image and then load it in this image view. So that's the person will do. So first and foremost, what we'll do is we'll let me create a local variable a string, a string URL, and no, yeah. So this is the URL which I copy pasted and now I'll create something called input stream. Input stream. Input stream. New URL. And then I can probably use the URL string, whatever we have created above. And then I can do is get content. No, I think it should have been URL, not URI. That's why I'm not getting that option. Yeah, I know if I go back. I think I have to 
this alt enter to import the required package and here target content this is what i was looking for perfect i think i'm not sure what is it's just giving so let me press add exceptions sound by tie catch so let's go with uh, sound by tie catch and uh, add cast to yeah you can cast it no problem yeah okay so we will be in fact using this exception here and we'll see uh, what happens here so let me first complete the code quickly here so now with this uh, input stream what i'll do is i'll convert it into bitmap and what i'll do is bitmap factory factory dot decode stream and i can give the input stream which we had just now created above perfect so once we have it then we can try to show it in our image view dot set image bitmap and we can use this over here perfect so probably what we can do also do is we can close the uh, input stream over here so we can close and we don't need the dot close we don't need it anymore because we are not accessing it so i think that's all yeah so now <coughs> what we'll do is we'll try to see the output of this exception e so okay let me do one thing for that let me go back to my layout and also put one text view somewhere uh, here uh, this fit and we will some constraints so this will use to print the output of my uh, this one okay let me pull this a little bit down so that I'm not sure why it happened that way so let me yeah, put it back here and yeah. so I was trying to complete this text view so I think that's fine I think we have got all the things in text view I'll just quickly go back to my java code again I'll create a class variable for text view text view and create this uh, assign this uh, text view variable find view by id r dot id dot text view yeah. so this will get associated with the light widget in the layout perfect so now what we'll do is over here uh, probably I, I can just remove this line of the code because anyway we are not capturing the stacks right now the uh, exception stacks and here i'll print the text view set text and e dot to stream to see what is the exception being thrown. so let's begin now we'll rerun the code in our uh, emulator and see how it comes up so i think i can manage it below yeah so let me click here and see what happens okay it crashed uh, i'm not sure why it crashed what i can do is instead of using io exception let me use the exception itself which will cover all the other exception possibilities as well and rerun the code and see how it comes up yeah so if you notice if this time if when i rerun i'm zooming in so that i can show you the error message so instead of displaying our output on this image view which i was expecting it is showing us a error network on main thread exception i will zoom it further so that's clearly visible on the small screen yeah this is the exception what we are getting over here network on main thread exception so how to fix it so one way is to whenever you are doing any kind of this kind of operations of network you should create a, something called async task that's the ideal approach but however if you have a small code and you want to quickly fix it for your uh, test apps and all so what you can do is you can override the policy you can override the thread policy so first let's define the policy so stick more dot thread policy and then you can define this policy new strip more yeah i think this one thread policy builder and dot permit all and dot build yeah and then once the, we have the policy in my local code and then what we can do is we can just simply say to set this policy for my this current code so what i can do is strict mode 
dot set head policy and the policy which we define. Okay. So what it will, what basically we are doing, we are defining a local policy here which says it will permit all uh, without any thread requirement and then we are setting that policy for this particular uh, uh, code or app. So let's see how it happens. So I've written the code. I'll zoom out a little bit. Not completely, but at least a bit. I know if I click on this. Perfect. So if you see, there is no error message which is coming. It's just text you and our code is working because it's able to load now. Uh, this. So basically, we are overriding the thread requirement, which is a very strict requirement, and we are uh, which is enabling us to execute the task in the main thread itself. I'll repeat. This is not a ideal way or good way to do it. You should ideally uh, uh, do it in a separate thread using some kind of async task or the, you can uh, various ways to do that. But yeah, this is a very quick workaround I will say to do it in case uh, you don't want to, yeah, uh, yeah, you, you know what you are doing, you know what thread you are calling and you know your network will not give an issue for doing some very simple task then you can do it over here okay so that's all i wanted to show that how easy it is to fix that particular uh, uh, exception uh, just by using these two lines of the code and yeah that's all i hope this video is useful to you and if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye